While in my recent videos, I went over Terraria's easter eggs and official collaborations, there is still one more section of content that has stuff from other games, which is their references. Since Terraria came out, ReLogic has added a ton of references to other games, like Stardew Valley and Legend of Zelda, which is exactly what we'll be taking a look at in today's video. For the first few references in Terraria that we'll be looking at, we of course have to look at the Minecraft ones. Although you may think these two games would act like competitors against each other, that's not the case, with them actually having an amazingly positive relationship. While Terraria and Minecraft don't have any official collaboration between the two, in Terraria, you're able to get a Creeper vanity set in Halloween goodie bags. Alongside the text on top of your window, sometimes saying, also try Minecraft, which you can find the opposite version of in Minecraft, where it says, also try Terraria. For the second set of references we'll look at in this video, I thought we would do the ones we got in the most recent Terraria update, starting with the Stardew Valley items. Just like Minecraft, Terraria has a good relationship with Stardew Valley, with Terraria even adding three items from Stardew Valley. Firstly, we have the Blue Chicken Pet, which you can rarely find the traveling merchant selling, which is a rare chicken you can get in Stardew. After that, we have the Joja Cola, which you can find as trash while fishing, but if you bring it to the Dryad, she will purify it, which will open a portal to Stardew Valley, where a Junimo will jump through and drop a Stardrop Fruit, which can be used to summon the Junimo as a pet. Besides the Stardew Valley items, we also have a new rare item that's also a reference to another game, which is the Spiffo Plush and Pet, which is a reference to the mascot of Project Zomboid. Next, I thought we would take a look at the references which started Terraria, which is Nintendo. If you don't already know, the creator of Terraria originally was the creator of a custom Mario game before going on to make Terraria. So it's not shocking to see that there are multiple references to Nintendo games in Terraria. First up, we have the Zappinator, which was originally added in as an unobtainable weapon used by the developers to easily kill enemies, but was later fully added into the game as a strong ranged magic weapon. After that, we have the Mario Vanity set, which actually ended up having its sprite changed, and the Frog and Fire Flower magic weapons are all clear references to Mario. And finally, we of course have the Legend of Zelda references, which there are a ton of. Firstly, we have the Hero Set, which is clearly meant to be the clothes that Link wears. After that, we have the Enchanted Sword and its Shrine, which are a reference to the Master Sword. Sticking with Enchanted Weapons, up next, we have the Enchanted Boomerang, which is a reference to Link's Boomerang and A Link to the Past. Next, we have the fairies, which are a reference to the fairies in Legend of Zelda, alongside the three different colors of it representing the three goddesses. After that, we have the fact that life crystals will increase your health by 20, which is the same amount heart containers do in Legend of Zelda. Next, we have the bunny hood, which looks like the bunny hood you're able to find in a few Zelda games. Up next, we have the princess vanity set, which is meant to look like the dress that Zelda wears. And finally, we have the breakable pots you can find in your Terraria worlds, which is a reference to Link's favorite hobby, breaking pots. Moving on, let's take a look at one of the coolest references in Terraria, which are the portal ones. In Terraria, you're able to get a working portal gun from Moonlord, with it working just like it did in Portal, alongside it having a stand for it. So you can make portals without having it in your inventory. Besides the portal gun though, you also have the chance to find the traveling merchant selling the companion cube, which actually has two different references inside of it. Firstly, if you bring it into a completely dark area, it will start stabbing you, which is a reference to how the companion cube isn't supposed to be able to hurt you. And as for the second one, it will make this scream once you get it into lava, which is a reference to how portal fans thought there might have been a person inside the companion cube, and how you have to throw the cube into lava at the end of portal. And for the final section in this video, we're gonna go over the references that just aren't big enough for their own sections. First up, we have Chippy's Couch, which is a reference to Chippy Gaming. Next, we have one you might not know yet, which is the Master Gamer Vanity Set, which is a reference to Captain N, who was the star of a Nintendo-themed cartoon from 1989. Moving on, we have a few swords which reference other games, like the Phase Blade and Bar, which is a reference to Star Wars, the Breaker Blade, which is a reference to Final Fantasy, and finally, the Key Brand, which is a reference to Kingdom Hearts. And finally, for the last reference to another game in Terraria, we have the Treasure Hunter set, which is a reference to the Tomb Raider series. That wraps up our look into Terraria's references to other games. If you're interested in seeing all of Terraria's easter eggs or all of their official collaborations, I already have videos just for that, which you can find on my channel. 
If you made it this far in the video, let me know by commenting Creeper, and also let me know what your favorite reference is in Terraria. Thanks for sticking to the end, and as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.